Hello and welcome to a new crochet tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to crochet a beautiful two color granny square that I used to make a baby blanket 30 by 30 inches. However, you can use this pattern to make a blanket of any size you want or you can use it for a different crochet project. This pattern looks the best when it is worked in two highly contrasting colors, something dark and something light. However, for the purpose of my tutorial, I will use two lighter color yarns because it is very difficult to see the stitches on a dark yarn. I want to thank my viewer Juanita from Fresno, California, who sent me this beautiful yarn. Here is the yarn that I used for the blanket. Feels like butter. This one is in color teal. I used two skeins and three skeins of color yellow. I will work with a hook size F, 3.75 millimeters. And for this pattern, I will need a stitch marker like this, the one that locks. And if you don't have a stitch marker like this one, you can use a safety pin. I start with a magic ring. Now, if you have difficulties making magic ring, here is how I make mine. I simply start tying a knot like this but I don't finish it completely. Instead, I put it over my fingers like this, and then I simply crochet inside this knot. So I start with three chains, one, two, three, and these three chains count as my first double crochet. Now my first round is gonna be pretty much the same as the first round of a regular granny square. So what I do next is I work into the ring two double crochets. One, two, and now I have three double crochets because I count three chains as a double crochet as well. Next, two chains, one, two, and into the ring I work three double crochets, one, two, three. Again, two chains and into the ring I work three double crochets. One, two, three. Again, two chains and three more double crochets. One, two, now I pull the ring a bit closer. Uh, I make two chains, one, two, this is my last corner, and I join to the top chain of the beginning three chains. I join with a slip stitch. And now I can close my magic ring completely. So this is my first round. I pull up this loop a bit higher, about an inch, and I put the stitch marker into that loop. I'm going to keep this loop of the first round and the working yarn to the right of my work, and now I'm going to attach the second yarn. I fold it like this, keeping this shorter tail about four inches long. And I'm going to attach this second yarn into the space between these first three chains and the next double crochet. So right there, this is where I insert the hook and pull up this loop of the second color and I make a chain. I'm gonna let the shorter tail go to the left of my work so that it gets hidden in my work. What I do next is into the same space where I attach the yarn, I work a single crochet. And in this round, I will work chain three loops and single crochets. So I make three chains, one, two, three. And over here, I have two double crochets. I'm going to make a single crochet into the space between them. Now again, three chains, one, two, three. 
Here is the next group of three double crochets and into the space between these two double crochets I work a single crochet. Again, three chains. One, two, three. Over here I have two double crochets and into the space between them I work a single crochet. And that's how I continue crocheting all the way around. Three chains and a single crochet into the space between the first and the second double crochets of the next group of three double crochets. Then three chains and a single crochet into the space between the second and the third double crochet of the same group of three double crochets. Again, three chains and a single crochet in between these two double crochets. Three chains and a single crochet in between these two double crochets. And now three chains. When I started crocheting this round, I kept this loop to the right of my work. However, at the end, I'm gonna keep it to the left like this and I join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. So this loop is right there and the yarn tail. Now I pull up this loop a bit higher. I take the marker from this color loop and I place it here and again I'm gonna keep the yellow loop and the yellow yarn tail to the right of my work and I will continue crocheting with this yarn again. I adjust the yarn loop a little and then I pull it through this corner space. This is where chain two was made in the first round and under chain three of the second round, right here. So I pull this loop through the yellow goes to the right and I'm going to continue crocheting with this light blue yarn. So first I make three chains. One, two, three. And these three chains count as my first double crochet. And into the same space right here I work two more double crochets. One and two. Next, one chain. Now I'm going to skip the next single crochet, three chains and single crochet, and I will be working into the next corner space right here. And in this round and all the following odd numbered rounds, I will insert the hook under both loops of, of the two previous rounds. So right here, you see how I'm inserting the hook under this loop, but also under this. So over here I work three double crochets, one, two, three, then two chains, one, two, and into the same space I work three more double crochets, one, two, three. And this is my corner. Next one chain, I skip the next single crochet, three chains and single crochet, and I will be working into the next corner. And just the way I worked over here, again, I work three double crochets. One, two, three, then two chains and into the same space, three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Again, one chain, skip the next single crochet, three chains and single crochet, and I will be working into the space, this chain space of the next corner and I insert the hook under both loops, under the yellow one and the blue one. I work three double crochets, 
one, two, three, then two chains and into the same space, three more double crochets. One, two, three. One chain, skip the next, single crochet, three chains, single crochet. And over here, this is where my first corner was already started and now I just need to finish it. So into that space, I work three double crochets. One, two, and three. And you see how at the end of the row, I keep the yellow loop to the left of my work. In the beginning of the round, I kept it to the right, but at the end, I keep it to the left. Now two chains, and I join with a slip stitch to the third chain of the beginning chain three. So this is my third round, and the yellow loop and yarn is right here on the back. I pull up this loop and replace the marker from the yellow loop to the blue loop. I adjust the yellow loop a little bit and now I will pull it through the space between first three chains and the next double crochet. Into the space between them, pull the yellow loop I adjust it and now I start the next round. So this round is going to be just the same as round two and I started with one chain and into the same space I make a single crochet. And now this round is going to be a round of chain three loops and single crochets. So first three chains and then a single crochet into the space between the next two double crochets three chains and a single crochet into the space between these next two double crochets of the next group of double crochets. Three chains and a single crochet in between the second and the third double crochet of this same group of three double crochets. Three chains and a single crochet into the space between the first and the second double crochet of the next group of three double crochets. Three chains and a single crochet into the space between the second and the third double crochet. And that's how I continue crocheting all the way around. Three chains and a single crochet three chains and a single crochet, three chains and a single crochet and so on. At the end of the round, I keep the blue loop and the blue yarn tail to the left of my work. I make last three chains and I join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet. I pull up the loop and replace the stitch marker. I'm going to keep the yellow loop and the yellow yarn tail to the right of my work and I adjust the blue loop and I pull it through the chain space of the corner. And now I can start crocheting the next round. I start with three chains. And into the same corner space, I work two double crochets. One chain. 
I skip the next single crochet, three chains and single crochet. And here I have chain one space in blue color and chain three space in yellow. I will be inserting the hook under both of those loops. And that's how every odd numbered round is gonna be work. You need to insert the hook under both loops of the two previous rounds. So over here, I work three double crochets. One, two, and three one chain i skip the next single crochet three chains and single crochet and over here is the corner space and again inserting the hook under both loops of the previous two rounds into the corner space i work three double crochets then two chains and three double crochets one chain skip the next single crochet three chain single crochet and under both loops over here i work three double crochets one two three one chain skip the next single crochet three chain single crochet and this is the corner space and inserting the hook under both loops I work three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. And that's how I continue crocheting this round. And into the last corner space I work three double crochets then two chains and I join to the top chain of the beginning three chains so you can see that every odd numbered round looks pretty much like the round of a regular granny square the only difference here is that you need to insert the hook under both loops of the two previous rounds every even numbered round is just a round of chain three loops and single crochets so that's that there are only two repeating rounds in this pattern when you work a round of double crochets with this light blue color you just work that round as a round of a regular granny square but the difference is you insert the hook under both loops of two previous rounds so you will be working three double crochets here then three double crochets here and then in the corner spaces you work three double crochets two chains and three double crochets and then the next round is the round of these chain three loops and single crochets and the single crochets are worked in between double crochets of each group of three double crochets and here is my other sample and as you can see it looks much better with uh, highly contrasting colors something light and something dark now to make this blanket, I continued crocheting my square until I ran out of the yellow yarn. And remember, I used three skeins. So it was 29 inches along the side of the square. I finished with a round of double crochets, these three groups of double crochets and chain one spaces in between them. And then for the next round, I made one round of single crochets, making a single crochet into each double crochet and into each chain one space and in the corner spaces into the corner chain two spaces I worked three single crochets and then I made one more round in the dark color again working a single crochet into each stitch around and on the corners I simply worked a single crochet into each stitch 